and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a 100 rep ab challenge, which basically means you're going to have 10 different workouts. You're going to be doing it for 10 times each, which adds up to total 100 ab workouts. So let's get right into it. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get all my notifications. So you never miss a single workout from me. Let's get started. We are going to start with sit up with bent knees. You're going to perform this like a sit up. The only difference is your bent knees are lifted off the floor. Lie face up on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat, your arms extended to the front. Now raise your torso to a sitting position in one fluid movement. Slowly lower your torso back to the starting position. Hundreds. Continue sitting on your sit bones. Bend your knees and lift them off the floor. Elongate and straighten your spine at a 45 degree angle from the floor. Extend your arms out to the front and move your arms up and down in a fast pace. Brush and twist next. Sit on your sit bones, keeping your knees bent. Lift your legs off the floor. Elongate and strain your spine at a 45 degree angle from the floor. Reach your arms out in front, interlacing your fingers. Use your ab muscles to twist to the right, then back to the center and then to the left. Alternate oblique crunch. Lie face up on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat. Keep both hands behind your head and lift your shoulders off the floor, bringing your right elbow towards the left knee and your left elbow towards the right knee. Alternating the upper body, alternate your legs and hands simultaneously. Moving on to flutter kicks. Lie face up with your arms on the floor by your side. Engage your abs and lift both legs about 6 inches off the floor. Keep your lower back flat on the floor. If this is too challenging, bring your legs a little higher. Kick your feet like you're swimming freestyle for 10 counts. Mountain climbers next. We're now going to come into a high plank position and bring your right leg to your left arm and your left to the right and alternate the legs as fast as you can. Spider-Man plank. Continue on your high plank position with your elbows underneath your shoulders, feet about hip width apart, engage your core, squeeze your glutes and make sure your body forms a straight line from head to toe. Keeping your hips as leveled as possible, bend your right leg to bring your right knee as close as possible towards your right elbow. And then switch back to the left leg, bringing your left knee up to your left elbow. Moving on to plank with leg raises. Continue in your plank position with your hands shoulder width apart, your shoulders, hips and ankles in a line. Keep your abs engaged and raise your right leg off the floor until it's at about hip height. Keep your right foot flexed, pause, then lower your right leg back to the floor. Repeat on the left leg. Plank rolls. Get into a forearm plank position. Your body should be in a straight line from your head to your feet. Don't sag your hips or point your butt way up into the air here and make sure you're contracting your abs and glutes. Rotate your body to the right, pivoting your feet and then to the left, remaining on your forearm plank the entire time. And the last exercise is the plank. We gotta finish strong and we're holding it for 10 counts of course. Lie face down with your forearms planted on the mat and hands clasped onto each other. For some support and grip, push yourself off the floor and hold, keeping your back flat. If this feels too easy for you, feel free to come into a plank on your forearms and hold. Thank you so much for working out with me today guys. I hope you guys will enjoy this workout. You can also go for another round of the same workout. Pair this workout with a cardio workout. I'm going to link that down below. And also my free workout programs, which I will also be linking it down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get all my notifications and never miss a single workout from me. Until next week, bye-bye.